Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop is to where it is snowing right now. This is Taos, finally starting to see some snow out of this storm system that's developing in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. This is where the best new snow is going to be over the next 24 to 36 hours. Southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, probably 4 to 12 inches of grand total snowfall between the two. All right, let me show you what my bullet points are here, and they really have not changed since yesterday. We're in this western doldrums pattern, not a lot happening, pretty quiet and dry through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, California for the time being, with this one exception being this southern track low through southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Again, looking at this possibility, it's still there even today of this nor'easter. Strong storm comes out of Florida, tracks up the east coast, but the problem is there's no cold air. And so it's mainly going to be rain before it changes over to snow. And we've seen this now a couple of times. Um, I just don't have a lot of accumulation for the Northeast. And California stays dry until very late 1217 and 1218. And we'll probably get a push of moisture into the Sierra. But I'm thinking high rain snow line with this. So that's going to affect the quality of the snow. Let me show you what um, this looks like on water vapor satellite imagery here this morning. So big low headed up into Canada, it's going to stay there. There's our southern low beginning to spin and push some snow into southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. This actually becomes energy that dives down through Florida and becomes this next east coast storm system. Um, now this low is interesting and it will do a number um, that looks like this. It's going to drop down into this area, set up for a couple of days and wait. And then eventually by late 1217 and 1218, we'll push a little bit of moisture into California, but it will help to set the stage break down this pattern a little bit, and we'll start to get a little more activity after probably 1220, 1222, um, with maybe a trough moving in to the west. Here's my forecast radar and satellite. So by this afternoon, that's the state of affairs. Snow in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. It's the same thing tomorrow morning. At 6, the low starts to break up. By tomorrow afternoon, it begins to move away. Then it's, this doldrums pattern takes over, really just in a waiting game for something, for anything to happen. And it does. By late 1217, you can see this trough approaching California begins to push moisture into Mammoth and Tahoe. But again, high rain snow line with this initially. And because we're just getting blasted by this Pacific jet and it's all warm air. The polar jet's locked up into Canada right now. Let me show you what um, that actually looks like. So this is 1217. So yeah, we've got this, this energy moving in. Uh, but look at the polar jet way up in Canada. It's got the cold air locked away, so we're just dealing with moderated air, Pacific in origin. Um, here is the jet further down the road, 1222. Now, by this point, we might start to see a change. You can see there's a trough moving in through California towards Utah, towards Colorado, across the southern tier. But again, the problem is the lack of cold air. It's all locked up, bottled up into uh, Canada at this point. Um, unfortunately, but at least there's some change in the pattern there by 1222. Let's talk some numbers here. So 1213 through 1215, next couple of days, all the snow is in Colorado and New Mexico and up into BC and Banff, I should say. So those are the two areas you're going to want to ski through 1215. Second period, um, so we move through the doldrums and then eventually by late 1217 and 1218, we start to see snow hit the Sierra. Um, and this runs us all the way through 1222. So there's a little bit on 1218, and then there's a little bit more on uh, 1222. And you can see the other numbers. I mean, this is very light snow here, this pattern across the west. It's, it's a fight right now, for sure. Um, here is the pattern on the east coast. With 1217, you can see the jet energy supporting the development, bringing out, escorting the slow out of Florida, and then running it up the east coast. But again, it's all warm air. It's all going to be rain. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. And notice it's 99% rain across the lower 48 as it runs up the east coast. It may change over to snow, 1218 up in the northeast. We'll see. Here's my total snow for the northeast. There's not much there. Unfortunately, again, this is probably happening on the changeover, 1218. Um, unfortunately, I just wish I had something better here, but that's just the way it looks right now. We'll have to wait and see what happens as we head towards Christmas and later for the west and for the northeast, see if we can get some cold air in here. Thanks, guys, for tuning in here to this update. Always appreciate it, and take care.